back in 2009 when he'd just come back from the USA. I think he'd been there for quite a number of years, yeah. Um, of course, the idea of meeting the father of the girl you had dated for almost four years um, for the first time was quite unnerving, yeah. For those of us who are young and, and um, you've gone through, through this before. Um, but to my surprise, he warmly received me and showed genuine interest in me. His jovial nature calmed me down, and of course I breathed a sigh of relief. And I remember during that time I was going through um, a lot of stress uh, when we were planning for our wedding with Lillian. And there was a time I was even bordering on mild depression, uh, and sometimes I, I could not even eat. So one day Bishop just called me out of the blues um, when I was leaving work and he told me, Son, where are you? Can we meet? Yeah, of course, I was young, single, no plans. Yes, of course you can meet. I had nothing to do, yeah? But I didn't know what to make of it. Um, so we met on, uh, at uh, Moy Avenue um, in Nairobi. He picked me up in his car. And uh, he just listened to me talk. He asked me, how are you? And we talked. He listened to me. He encouraged me. He really empathized with me. And he empathized uh, with, with what I was going uh, through. You know, fathers rarely do such things to the boys who want to take away their daughters. Yeah? Fathers behave like lions, but he behaved like a dove with me. All right? Um, then at home, I spent the night there. I got a very nice meal. Mama can really cook. And of course, for those of, of us who are single, you know, the, the, the best meal you're going to have at home is mayai, mkate, and Sprite. But that day, I got a sumptuous meal, and I was given a nice bed to sleep in. And the following morning, because the sleepover was not planned, he gave me a shirt to wear. Bishop was a giver. Of course, the shirt was big. You know, with my stylish self, the shirt was big. I looked like a bouncing castle, and the, and the collar looked like a scarf on me, right? But I didn't care. I was ready to bounce my way to work because I felt accepted I felt appreciated, I felt received. And you know if the father of the girl you want to marry has accepted you and is on your side, your issues are sorted. 99% of your issues are sorted, <laughs> right? And from then we became good friends and became great friends. And we've engaged in so many things. Uh, I've made a lot of sacrifices for Bishop and he's made a lot of sacrifices for me. And I really miss my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is David Gidiri, and I'm married to Vicky Mumbi, the first daughter of the late uh, Bishop Karanja. For me, I saw Bishop, another version of my late dad, dignifying men who embrace the good things in life. I had in him a friend, never at any one time feared to speak my thoughts out, never judged but counseled with tenderness and love. I cherish the random man talk dinners, which he would honor with shortest notice, always available when I called on him. The last dinner I had with him, which took like four hours, was in January, just before he got sick. And most of you know Bishop is always very, was always very punctual. But for this one, he was late for more than half an hour. What I, I didn't know is that probably that was our last dinner. I struggled many times to reconcile his dedication to my family. He understood our complicated lifestyles and deliberately chose to check on us. Almost every time I alerted him, we were at home. I used to work out there and my wife was in, works in Nanyuki and our home is in Ruiru. So every time I would, show, I, I would alert him I'm home, he would, he would find a way of coming and seeing us. So he really understood it at depth. He loved his granddaughters, the two granddaughters, to a fault. His sense of humor and wordcraft always left me confounded. He humorously confessed during a family gathering, a big family gathering in 2016, that his first impression of me was that of a previously married man. And this shaped the nature and character of his relationship with me, quite humbling all along. In a span of three months, I've lost two dads. My father passed on in December, and we buried him together with uh, the bishop. Men I looked up to, 
my cheerleaders and true senior buddies, I'll truly miss unique perspectives of life, bold, insightful, and courageous. Son, you can do it. Lest in peace, Dad. Thank you. Uh, I greet you all in the name of Jesus, uh, all protocols observed. My name is David Njugunambugua. I am uh, uh, brother-in-law to Bishop Philip Karanja, and therefore, Gloria is my sister. Uh, I am uh, one of the people that were lucky in my family to meet Bishop before the other members of my family met him. And that is because when my sister graduated from uh, the teaching college, she came home a beautiful young girl. And so she was afraid that she will be vexed by boys here and there. And so she asked for a permission to take me with her to Njoro so that I can be protecting her. But I was only, I think I was uh, fi only five years old. So I was very, very happy and I felt strong that I can be trusted to protect my sister, of which I trust that I did. And then uh, there was uh, uh, the fear of somebody coming and taking our sister away. And uh, little did I know that Bishop would be introduced to me very soon. So he visited my sister where she was teaching. He came to see where my sister was teaching because as usual, Bishop liked visiting all his friends. And so uh, that story went on and uh, later we had the best time when Bishop uh, uh, and my sister came home and they came in a, in a vehicle and a lot of people and we heard my mother say, I think he's good. And uh, because we knew that our mother uh, would love somebody that would make, would pay back the hard work that she had done bringing up my sisters. When she accepted him, I thought he was the one. Actually, during the, the, the night, uh, the, the eve of the wedding, our cow that had been uh, pregnant uh, gave birth to a, um, a bull, a calf, and it was called Philip. I'm, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure he, he did not like he did not like that very much, but it was a way of us remembering how good and how blessed we were. And uh, so that is part of uh, what Gloria did not say. But uh, I will go now to reading the tribute that I have written. And it's a lot that we need to, to talk about, and uh, we don't have a lot of time. Uh, one thing that I also, also remember very well about the bishop is when he told me, never make a promise if you cannot make it. Only make a promise, only if you make a promise, only break it if you are sick or in hospital. So I kept those words uh, very deeply. Now, uh, I will say my tribute now. A bishop came into our home in the mid, uh, in early 70s. Oh, time flies. And we accepted him in our family with open arms. It's been decades. We all agree that we, f we formed a great bond with him. Each one of our family members loved him greatly. We all felt privileged to have him as a brother-in-law, uh, an uncle, a grandfather, teacher, and spiritual father. We all felt proud to be associated with him. Each one of us, both young and, and old, have a lot of precious teachings that the bishop imparted to us. He was the first person each one of, th of us thought about uh, whenever there was a need for advice on issues ranging from uh, family matters to investments. We all uh, wanted to, be, to emulate him in every way. Indeed, we are a large family, but bishop just like a good teacher or father should knew each family member by name. And each one of us bears witness that he knew where each one of us lived and made sure that he visited each one of us, including those in diaspora. Bishop was a pack of positive energy. We all agree that there was never a sad moment when Bishop was around. He really brought us together as a family and showed us how important it was to mind 
each other's welfare and business. He has preceded us, but we get encouraged by the words in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 14. And we have faith that we shall see him again. Rest well, Bishop, and we shall see you at one time. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Now, let me...